how to fix we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes on Windows 10 error. There are several factors that can cause this particular problem, ranging from an improper downloading of update files to a corrupted system file. In this latest video installment of our troubleshooting series, we will tackle the we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes error. But before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps, it's best to restart your computer first. This action refreshes the operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. First, run Windows Update Troubleshooter. The first thing you will need to do in this case is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter tool. This tool can search your system for any update-related issues and try to fix them. To do this, first download the Windows Update Troubleshooter tool from here. Then, run the troubleshooter. To run the troubleshooter, press Start or click on Windows button. Then click on Settings, an icon that looks like a gear to open the Windows Settings section. Then at the Windows Settings section, click on Update and Security. Then click on Troubleshoot, located at the left panes. Next, click on Additional Troubleshooters. Then at the Get Up and Running section, click on Windows Updates. Next, click on Run the Troubleshooter. Windows Update will now run and detect problems. If troubleshooting could not identify a problem, click on Close. When the troubleshooter is finished running, it's a good idea to restart your device. Next, delete the Software Distribution folder. The Software Distribution folder is where Windows stores all of the update files. If the files in this folder are corrupted, then this problem can occur. You can try to delete the contents of this folder so that the update files will be redownloaded. To do this, at the search bar of your Windows, type Command Prompt. Then, right-click on the Command Prompt app that appears, then click on Run as Administrator. A prompt message appears if you allow this app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. On the Command Prompt window, type the following. Type netstop wua userve and press enter. Then type netstop bits and press enter. Then type netstop crypt svc and press enter. Then type netstop msi server and press enter. Next, open the Windows Explorer and navigate to the following address. Drive C, Windows folder, then Software Distribution folder. Then, delete all the files and folders. Start the services again by typing the following commands in the elevated command prompt. Type netstar wua, userve and press enter. Then type net start bits and press enter. Then type net start crypt svc and press enter. Then type net start msi server and press enter. Next restart the computer. Check if the we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes error still occurs. Next, turn on app readiness service. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open Run dialog box. Then at the Run dialog box, type in services.msc and press Enter or click on OK to open Services section. Then, at the Services section, locate the App Readiness Service and double-click it to open the Properties. Then at the Properties section, set the Startup Type to Automatic. And then click Start to run the service. Click Apply to apply changes made. Then, click OK to exit properties. Next, restart the computer. 
After computer completely reboots, check if the we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes error still occurs. Next, disable automatic Windows updates. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open run dialog box. Then at the run dialog box, type in services.msc and press enter or click on OK to open services section. Then at the services section, locate the Windows Update service and double click it to open the properties. Then at the properties section, set the startup type to disabled. And then click stop to stop the service if it is running. Click apply to apply changes made. Then click OK to exit properties. Next, restart the computer. After computer completely reboots, check if the we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes error still occurs. Lastly, perform a system restore. In case the mentioned steps fails to fix the problem, then you should consider doing a system restore. In the search box on the taskbar, type control panel and then choose it from the list of results. In the control panel search box, type recovery. Then, click on Recovery. Then, click Open System Restore. Then, select the restore point that you want to use in the list of results, and then select Scan for affected programs. You'll see a list of items that will be deleted if you remove this restore point. If you're okay with the deletions, click on Close. Then, click on Next. Then, click Finish. If you're not seeing any restore points, it might be because system protection isn't turned on. Check if the we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes error still occurs. After following the methods mentioned, you have successfully fixed we couldn't complete the updates on doing changes on Windows 10 error. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.